we got to get better. Uh, it's November. We'll get better. Very proud of this young lady right here for her effort and her willingness to sacrifice. Um, but we'll get better. Uh, Kenny, what was your assessment of your uh, defense tonight and, and what you know made the LSU such a defensive uh, a headache tonight? Well, we need to get better. Um, trying to figure out our, our kids, the roles. Um, need to get tougher. Um, just trying to get, build the chemistry amongst each other and so we understand where we need to be. And uh, But that's, that's what these games are for. So we'll continue to work, and uh, I think we'll be a much better basketball team because of opportunities like this. Kenny, you guys um, dealt with a lot of foul trouble. Liz, Clara, obviously, um, across the board, how challenging was it when you're still trying to learn so much about your team and still trying to, to mix and match and, and maybe find an identity in a big game like this where you, you can't necessarily roll with what you'd like to? Yeah, it was difficult. It was a lot of cloudy cloudiness out there, um, but we have to learn how to adjust. Uh, to the circumstance, and uh, but again, uh, with with a very inexperienced group together, um, opportunities like this will provide that for us, and we'll learn from it and get better. Coach, what were you expecting out of Angel Reese after missing four games? I don't, I don't know Angel Reese. Um, we weren't expecting anything. We just came out and ready to lock in and focus on us. We're not good enough to focus on somebody else's team. We gotta, we, we're still learning ourselves. Uh, Georgia, for the team, it was a tough uh, shooting night from three-point range. Was there anything about LSU's defense that you know, made it tough to get good looks or anything from three? No, it's just, I think, mental. Obviously, we're going to miss shots. It's just whether or not we let it affect us and carry over or not. Um, still have the utmost confidence in the girls that they will hit it, but we just need to get that aggression back. Uh, Kenny, up until the last minute of, of the game, you had only t Georgia and Liz scoring in double figures. You know, how, how concerning is that for you? It's very concerning. Obviously, we need that third and fourth option that's going to be consistent. We haven't had that this year. Uh, Liz and George are phenomenal players, but we can't rely on their productivity to be at the highest without somebody else stepping up and, uh, and contributing. Um, so, you know, we got to. Kayla King needs to step up. Matilda Eck needs to be a little bit more consistent. We got to have some more uh, more production from our, from our post play, from our bench. So, um, but again, we, 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 I, think we, I think we can learn a lot from this film. Coach, obviously both you and LSU are different teams this year, but looking at their personnel, what you saw tonight, what was, I guess, different or better than you saw last year when you played them? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, well, I think we're both, both trying to figure, each up, figure ourselves out. Um, I got I to gotta figure out my team. George, you guys held them in the first quarter. You guys played them tough defensively, got out to that, that lead. As the game wore on, what do you feel like changed and, um, and how much do you feel like mixing and matching with the different rotations kind of help, help or hurt you guys and not, uh, didn't allow you guys to get into a rhythm? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think rotations matter if we're not aggressive. I think in the first quarter they figured out that they were probably not playing as aggressive as they could. And then once they sniff, sniffed that out, um, they were playing pretty hard after that. And I think we didn't adapt to that or adjust to it or even remotely really fight back. Uh, Kenny, you were talking after the uh, Iowa game how all the fouls called in that game affected the game plan. Similar, similar case tonight? Yeah, it, it really did. It kind of threw us off. I think Olivia Samil got uh, two fouls very quickly. Uh, Liz, Georgia, and Kayla got a foul within the first uh, maybe three minutes of the uh, the game, and it just really, you know, it, ma it makes you a little bit hesitant because you're trying to fill the situation out. So, um, you know, and, and we we do. I'm not going to sit here and say we don't foul at all, but uh, you know, it was it was very confusing and um, and how the game was going to be called, and uh, I think that really affected you know just what we were trying to do as far as our rotations uh, down the stretch. Yeah, we, we played bad in the second quarter. Um, 
you know, they, they outscored us, I think it was 22 to 9. We shot 18%, I think it was, from the second in the second quarter. And um, we came out, you know, we needed, we needed to have a good start. And right away, we turned the basketball over uh, and gave them a layup. They got a couple of leak outs. Um, we're not getting back in transition and communicating enough. So um, that, that really was a damper on, you know, trying to really get off to a good start in the third quarter. And uh, they took advantage of it. Well, Georgia you've had these two high-profile games uh, early in the season, <coughs> Iowa and here, and neither one went your way. What did that, you know, tell you about your team, or what did you, uh, what can you learn about your team from these two big games? Um, that it is November, and at the end of the day, we do have, you know, three returners, um, three people who know exactly what Coach Brooks wants, and we have nine other girls who don't, and we need to figure out how to gel, play with chemistry, figure out our personality and who we are as a team. I don't think we have that covered yet, so. I mean, it's not it's not even just against Iowa or, or LSU. It's every single game. Like, we have to develop that personality and learn each other more. Kenny, you guys grinded out two wins last week. You obviously played Iowa. You, you play this game tonight. You have a month until ACC play begins. What do you feel like you have learned, if anything, about your team? And, and what do you still hope you discover about these kids over the next two, three weeks? She's really good. Uh, Liz is really good. Um, but we just, we need contributions, you know, from a consistent basis from the others that they're capable of doing that. And, um, you know, in, in to their credit, they, they've never played on the stage before. None of them have. And uh, they're learning how, you know, the little things you have to do. These kids understand what it takes to get to that next level. And it's the little things. It's not, it's not just a three-point. You, you can win a game like this without shooting the ball well from three-point, but you got to do all the little things. And, uh, and, we, and we haven't done that. So we just need someone to step up. We need someone to step up and, and be consistent. Um, we, don't need, we don't need to have 12, uh, but we need to have six or seven to really understand what we want to do. And if we can find that, then we can really start to blossom.